most great ideas start off life as bad ideas. And then I say to Hillary, I was thinking about such and such. And if she's helpful, she'll say, oh, I read an article about that, I'll send it to you. Or she'll say, well, wouldn't it be better if instead of that, it was more like this? Or she might say, I know somebody who knows a lot about that. Why don't I introduce you? It's going from lame to maybe okay, maybe interesting. And then I talk to Lars about it, and he's helpful too. It's obviously my lucky day, and the same thing happens. Now, I have to generate a lot of ideas to get the really great idea with legs. So innovation is inherently inefficient. I need a lot of ideas. Ideas are cheap, so that's good. I need to work them, and I need to throw out the dross. And there's going to always be a high, high, high volume or proportion of dross. But to the degree that I am working with people who are helpful, I'm going to be able to discriminate between the good stuff and the dross fast. Fail fast. If I don't have helpful people around me, I'm going to work on this idea until I've worked on it so long, I'm convinced it's wonderful. And if I'm really stubborn and unlucky, I'm going to try it out, and I'm going to fail slowly. If your only choice is between failing fast and failing slowly, fail fast. That's how you learn to walk.